Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Cindy Jordan, and we are Going Places with Jesus Ministries. Thank you for joining us again for segment two of our three-part devotional on peace. We're so happy that you've joined us today, and we pray that what you hear and receive from this video will be a blessing to your life. If you've missed part one, go back to our channel and be sure to watch part one. You wouldn't want to miss it. So we're moving into segment two of our discussion on peace. Scripture tells us in Hebrews 10, verse 36, for you have need of endurance so that when you have done all the will of God, you may receive what was promised. Today, we're going to look at peace and the purpose, one of the purposes of peace, and that is to give us endurance. The scripture says in Hebrews, as we just read, that for we need endurance. How many of us can say we need endurance? I know I definitely need endurance. The peace of God gives us that endurance. I'm realizing with each day of these devotionals and I'm doing my research and praying and studying the word, and I'm realizing that the peace of God is so robust. It's, it's more than just a feeling. It's more than just a state of being. It is deep. It's wide. It's so much higher and broader than I can even fathom with my natural mind. Hmm. The peace of God is multifunctional to you and I as believers in Jesus Christ. The peace of God is, is a fruit like we talked about the last segment. It's a fruit of the spirit that presents itself with purpose and with a function. And today we're going to look at one of those functions, which is endurance. In the natural when we are stressed out, when we are worried and confused and, oh my gosh, anxiety is rising high because we are faced with a mountain that seems insurmountable. When we are overworked or when we are overthinking a matter, we experience so much heightened anxiety and stress, emotional turbulence comes in. And so it may express itself in anxiety and lack of focus, disrupted relationships, and so many other maladaptive behaviors. But then comes the peace of God. And we attempt to alleviate some of our stresses with our own natural ingenuity. But the peace of God is supernatural. And it does a fully functional work in our lives. The peace of God gives you and I the ability to rest spiritually, to rejuvenate spiritually, but also find its way into every other area of our lives, mentally, emotionally, physically. Wow, the peace of God is multifunctional. It moves from the spirit realm and enters into the natural, making sure that its purpose is fulfilled in every area of our lives comprehensively. The peace of God doesn't leave anything or any part of us undone. It ensures a complete work in our lives. The peace of God, like we talked about in the first segment, has a purpose, and that purpose brings endurance. And why do we need endurance? So that we don't quit, we don't give up, that we don't stumble and fall, but not just stumble and fall, but stay in a fallen place. Endurance helps us to keep moving forward and be resilient and to keep moving forward and bounce back and to keep moving forward when we're faced with so many things opposing our forward movement, the peace of God comes behind us and pushes us on. 
day by day, little by little, the peace of God is renewing endurance every moment, every day, every situation. The peace of God breeds endurance in our lives. Ever wondered what keeps you going? What wakes you up in the morning? Why do you even bother? <laughs> Ever wondered? Why haven't you thrown in the towel by now? Why haven't you given up on that situation? Why haven't you just say, forget about it all? Could it be the peace of God finding root and place in our lives to give us that endurance to keep moving forward? It gives us that extra fortitude. As I said, resilience to keep pressing on because we know that God's will for our lives it's not just purposeful, but it's perfect. If we trace the source of our endurance and our resilience, we'll find peace at the core. The peace of God is at the center of our endurance. So how could we make this applicable to our lives today? I ask you to join me with this simple application today. As you take some time to reflect, Reflect on a recent situation that was somewhat challenging to you, whatever it is, whatever that challenge looked like for you, reflect on that. Now find a particular moment in that situation where you almost gave in, but you didn't. Something, somewhere, somehow stepped in and allowed you to keep going on. Now I need you to be intentional in tracing in that moment, the peace of God. And when you put your thumb on that moment and you find the peace of God in that situation, I want you to apply it, that same methodology in the next situation that would come because situations will come. As long as we are alive and breathing, things will happen that would challenge our peace. But the good news is that the peace of God is perfect in any and every situation. Can you identify God's peace in your life today? Make a note of your discovery as you go through that exercise that I just described. And use it as a reminder for your next challenge that God's peace is purposeful. And it brings endurance in every situation. I would like to ask you, if you don't mind, to join me now as we say a prayer. And this prayer is going to just talk to God from our hearts to our Father, thanking Him for His peace. Lord, we need more of your peace more of your peace because it gives us endurance in every season in every situation of our lives your peace is the fuel that keeps us living that keeps us serving that keeps us wanting to be more like you as disciples of jesus christ we treasure your peace lord we hold on to it with everything that is within us because we understand that your peace has purpose in our lives. And we thank you for your peace, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching us again for segment two of our devotionals on peace. My name is Dr. Cindy Jordan. We are Going Places for Jesus Ministry. Please be sure to like this video, share it with someone, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would love to continue to provide more inspirational and biblically sound messages to help you and I navigate this world that we're living in, mind, body, and spirit. Until next time, may the peace of God rest, remain, and abide with you. Shalom. Shalom.